missions, am I right? <laughs> What's the deal? I think we finally stopped getting new. God damn it. <laughs> as soon as you said that, the game queued up. As many missions as it was it looking could throw. at me. It was looking at me. It was like, I know you like Krabby Patties. It was that freaking face. <laughs> I love that episode. <laughs> such a good, such a good episode. This is back when SpongeBob was good. <laughs> I was just watching the Maroon Five um, Super Bowl halftime performance again, and I was really reminded of the SpongeBob fiasco. Oh yeah, how they uh, they 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 did a SpongeBob episode. <laughs> But they didn't. Uh, they didn't use Sweet Victory. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was a good time. That was, that was epic, cool, and sweet. <laughs> very, very. Literally, epic. like it. The, you had the entire show planned out for you, and you still fucked up. <laughs> oh no! I. This one's also very hard. You know, these very hard missions just don't seem very hard to They'd me. They'd probably be harder if I wasn't just s skimming through all of the I like how the music for this area didn't even change from like the Shinra building music which I get it's because we're like in the Activating combat mode. Oh. Whoa. we're in the uh, we're in the basement of Shinra headquarters but still um but yeah these missions would be a lot harder if uh so you see how much health they're taking off with their like little bullets oh. that should explain a lot they'd be a lot harder if I was actually doing the combat encounters and they would take a lot longer Zero AP cost during battle. For the rest of the battle, that's pretty nice. I can just spam this for the rest of my life. <laughs> so, Zach's gonna get sick real quick. I, my question is, so every, all of these enemies have different colors. Some of them have different colors. Hmm. But do, does that affect, uh, does that affect I gotta level up, I'll take it. how difficult they are? Like, are the orange enemies, have, do they have more HP? Yes. Do they have a certain attack? Yes, for palette swaps, that's usually how it works. And this, the uh, for this specifically, the yellow, the yellow guys, listen. Just because they called the Wu Tai people yellow guys doesn't mean anything. Oh my God. But the guys in orange are uh, sergeants. The guys in greens are private parts. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it took you a sec. Hey, buddy, you just want to get a? Uh, oh, they might be corporals actually. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, um, where soever are we going? I'm gonna go ahead and bet. Oh, this is one of those long ones, isn't it? Well, time for true. This is the true sneaking mission. Oh my god. Oh, this, this camera. Oh, sweet Jesus. So if we hug the wall and move without rhythm. <laughs> is this where I have to be? Maybe. I think. If I hug the wall again. <laughs> We have to get where we're going. This is this is first step. Uh, yep. Just ignore all the shit in the middle. Okay. Work with me here, Zach. I know that's not working with me, Zach. <laughs> oh, see, see they put these little fucking things in there, so it makes it harder to sneak around. Oh. Makes you try to go into the battle. Is this the only way forward? Oh, thank God. But yes, this is like literally what most people recommend. They're like, if you don't want the grind part, just sneak along the walls. The day I learned about this when I played the game for the first time was just, it was, a, it was a combat high. I was like, oh my god, I don't have to do all this nonsense. Especially for the enemies that die in like one hit, so it's more of a waste of time from like animations and like in initializing combat mode and all that stuff. I, I'm in danger. Oh, please, Angeal, save me with your, your dad hair. <laughs> oh, Ifrit, please save him with your dad butt. I, I just don't power surge. God damn it. You got a power surge, though. Yeah, I got a bunch of stats. Oh, I do get chain slash. It's cool. Here we go. go this is going to hurt go. one enemy out of the billion that I have to kill, but hey. Aha! These guys have never played a Legend of Zelda game. They don't know how to... They don't know how to uh, <laughs> He's tripping. He's tripping. He, he tripped in the middle of it. He's tripping, thinking about this girl he hasn't met yet. Oh, or the other girl he hasn't met, I guess. These guys haven't played a Zelda game. They don't know how to how to break the spin. <laughs> what a shame. They really should. Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip. Is that what they said? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like Beyblade was the one that was an easy fart joke. I, uh, <laughs> I think it was, yes. I really should. Sephiroth, save me. Oh, Yay. Yay! My hero. <laughs> 
concentrate. No, Beyblade was that one that I never actually saw the show of, but I saw all of the commercials of. Yeah. Like all well, of the toys. The show was a commercial too. <laughs> oh no! I had a friend who had Beyblade. He had several Beyblades, and then the little Beyblade um, arena, and it was so hard to pull these things. I was afraid I'd damage it every time I did. It took me many times to actually get this thing to work. Now, is this because they're hard to pull or because you were bad child? Uh, this very well may be because I was bad child. But as a bad child, I felt completely competent and I was shown up by these little spinning tops and uh, it was a very traumatic experience. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Wow, it was, uh, that sure was a journey we went on there. <laughs> Oh, oh, thank God. I think it's, I think it's the last mission in the taking care of Wu Tai. Oh, thank God. <laughs> what did we unlock? We unlock a mute shock. You, you, uh, you throw ice down their back and they're rendered mute from the shock. Oh, I have a barrier. That could probably come in handy. Able's magic that reduces physical damage received. Eh, fuck it. The salt twister is all we need. Uh, what was I looking at? Do I have any, do I have any useful stuff I can put on? Have damage add silence to attack and certain oh that's actually pretty uh, potentially useful um, but I really don't want to get rid of 80 HP especially because I'm like kind of go hit I'm definitely hitting above my weight class right now do I not need it either oh no I need a soma I need some Castlevania up in here. how much money do I have <laughs> four four two five if only I could have five less and unfortunately nothing costs five <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's get some summons going. Oh god. Oh dear. Okay, I see. So, I, I've played video games. <laughs> so Gil is the money. Yep. Zack is the protagonist. Yes. And that wiggly green line is his pulse. Uh, that is his DMW modifier. <laughs> So it makes it more or less likely that we will have a DMW match. Or the slots will roll in our favor. See, I said a silly thing, but then you said a sillier thing. And here's the and here's the funny part. The sillier thing was actually true. <laughs> Interesting. Please, okay. please, camera. The camera, like, doesn't want me to hug the walls. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> this game is like, like, the only no. thing you need to check for in these missions is where the final enemy is and where the treasure chests are. It's all you need to know. But, how fast you could speed run this game. Uh, pretty fast, because it pretty much all comes... Like, if you just burst through the story, since there is a little dexterity required to play it, it's pretty easy to just, like, level up by leveling from, like, killing enemies that are way above your punch class. So, I could, I would say it'd still be about a five or six hour speed run, but that's pretty good for JRPGs. There are some speed runs of Final Fantasy VII that take, like, eight hours if you're not abusing glitches. How much... Oh... Oh, no! <laughs> he uh he made his presence known. Am I at one HP? No. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna save just in case that uh, messes things up. I think really dying in a mission is usually not that big a deal if I remember correctly. All right. Let's see. We'll uh, we'll try that again. So lesson learned. Don't get hit by that guy. Uh yeah. Apparently he uh one hit kills you. It's almost like I'm hitting, like, way, way, way above my weight class right now. That's why. But you... The game's not poorly balanced, except for the fact that it lets me access this shit this early. <laughs> like, literally from the starting gate. We have done one story mission, that's it, pretty much. <laughs> and I can just go and do whatever I want. But this will end the war with Wutai, somehow. Yeah, that's, uh... Zack getting bitch slapped into the war with Wutai. They're like, alright, we took our revenge on that one dude who decimated our army. I'm happy. <laughs> That is a real I even kept the treasure chest I took. Huh. Is there any equipment I put on, can put on to make it so I might die in two hits instead? Uh, nope. Muscle belt. That's not really what I'm looking for. I really like that name, though. Pretty good name. Muscle belt. Muscle milk. Gets... Fight milk. Okay. So, if we're very careful. 41,000 HP, you say. Oh. How much do I do to him? This blizzard. 
440. Oh, it only takes like 100 casts of that. Oh my god! Cloud, clung, save me, please. <laughs> we need you here. Oh, thank yes. god. Oh, Andy HP broke me, thank god. Ha! Suck it. I'm invincible during my anime power up phase. How much hit damage does this do? 600, not bad. That's a Blizzard ca cast and a half. If he does an unskippable attack, though, like a cutscene attack, I'm just Oh, no. Oh, except that I, uh, I negate physical damage. <laughs> That's amazing. Bitch, slap me all you want. Oh, this, that doesn't do much damage. Uh, wait, does physical damage include the, the cutscene axe? attacks? I was going to say the axe, but yes, the cutscene attacks as well? Yes. Both, yes? Yeah. So he can't hurt you. Pretty much. Oh, and I currently have no MP cost, so now I'm even... Oh dear. Oh dear! Okay. Um, what's the math on 400... Okay, Tom, I Oh, thank God, I'm invincible. If I didn't have null physical damage, that probably would've killed me. It's like the game knows that I'm trying to speed scum through it. <laughs> Sephiroth, save me. Yeah! Oh, thank God, he might actually pull through. God, this reminds me of fighting the fucking Bandersnatch back in Final Fantasy XV. <laughs> no. The Bandersnatch. Bandersnatch. If you weren't there, you would know. Concentrate. <laughs> now watch this do like three damage. Oh, one, two, three, four. Ah, it's doing fair damage. It's eight hits, time an average of 200. It's like 1600 HP. I mean, he still has 30,000 to go. I should have brought fire for this or thunder. Oh, dear. But if I keep. No, I'm not anymore. Those don't last for very long. But if I, um. Oh, sweet. Now I don't have to worry about MP for the rest of the battle. Yes! Drop but, um, if I, keep, if I keep getting matches, I'll keep getting HP breaks, which means that I'll keep survive. I'll be able to survive more hits. But that also means my Cures and my Blizzards are now completely guilt free. Oh. Except for the guilt of spamming the attack like this. <laughs> oh, he's about halfway there. Let's heal just to make sure I'm at full health. Because health damage values are fairly highly randomized. Oh no. So he did 800 ish the first time. That could turn into more down the line. Oh no. Come oh, on. God. Ice cube him to death. Uh, oh, that's not happening. He still has like 25,000 HP left. Ooh. Please don't kill me. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that would have killed me even with the HP break I had before. <laughs> Okay, so we're not going to be fighting that guy for a while. Um, I'm going to check my magical tome here. And see if there's anything else important to do. Whisper secrets to him. Yeah, I really wish it stopped doing that. <laughs> it's a little annoying. Looking for items. Closed coal mines. We've obtained information. Um, let's see. What is this? This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, one, one gets me a phoenix down. And mission 615 unlocks another mission. So there's it's frac it's fractal missions. That's fine. Um, okay, so I have to kill the Tonberry in 615 to unlock mission 1021. And if I do that, I can make my way up to 1023, which gets me a Tonberry summon. And if I fuck around, I can get a magic pot summon. Tonberry? And those and those words definitely meant things that made sense. <laughs> Tonberry, I recognize. Well, yeah, we got a plush I'm looking at us right now. <laughs> oh, this is normal now, so at least everything's not going to pace the floor. Oh, by the way, these are evil eyes. They shoot electricity. Don't worry about it. Poison gaze. Not on my watch. Look at this. Can you, can you just have peace to die? <laughs> He's a cyclops bat with claws. Cyclops, if you will. the worst one I've ever made. That's the sad part. <laughs> Buckle up, friends. Oh, look at this adorable little dancing little fat man. Look at him bounce. Look at those jiggle physics. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, who have we got? Oh, not Aerith. Good deal. Sung, why must you suck? <laughs> All I want is to get a chain slash and you show up. Like, I'm important too. Man, their poison gaze is really not doing anything to me. Oh, well, of course I say that and they immediately, <laughs> they immediately, la immediately lands. Yeah, there we go. Oh, karma's a bitch. Oh my gosh, you're gonna poke out. 
Uh, no, I'm gonna die from poisoning. <laughs> but I'm not, because that was easy as hell. Reminds me of back in the day when I was at school. I was, uh, <laughs> the poisoning? Yes, the poisoning. I mean, <laughs> American school food is essentially poison, let's be real. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, oh, I stay poisoned outside of the... that's cool. Um... Elixir, I don't want to use that. I can heal status elements el elsewise as well, right? Surely I can... there's an antidote in the shop, right? Uh -oh. oh, remedies, there we go. I just haven't had to use one yet, nor have I picked one up. It's um, nice that you can get to the shop at any time. Because, like, you can just be here and be like... Well, I need to... Sh I can only shop from a save point. Oh. oh, no, never mind. I can shop from anywhere. Oh. Yeah, except a lot of the save... A lot of the shops are locked behind missions, and there's no way to know they're locked behind that mission until you complete it. Oh, what? Also, Phoenix Down is broken this game. If I'm remembering correctly, basically, if you use a Phoenix Down, you have the raise status on you until you die. Oh. Not, it's not just per mission. <laughs> it is a persistent status effect. So wow. It, uh, uh, very Phoenix Downs can go a very long way. Uh, anyway, what do I have to do? I have to kill Tonberry in 615. All right, well, let's let's grind our way to 615, shall we, folks? Good thing I'm learning more about this. I want to know the backstories of every plush that we have. That would take a while. <laughs> we have... Oh my god, what do we count? 27 plushies? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Every Eevee Lucian, plus Eevee now. <laughs> yes. A yes. Furret. A, yes. a Toon Link, a Squirtle, a Vine Sauce Mushroom, a Tonberry, a bigger gray Yoshi, and the little knit uh, Yoshi Amiibo. Um, Toon Link? The Hunter from Bloodborne. <laughs> we already count. I already said Toon Link. Oh, a third twig. Um... Toad, signed by the cartoon voice actor for Toad. He's <laughs> pretty cool. Um, He's a good guy. The, the dumb cat blue thing from that one show that no Happy, one likes. Happy, Happy from, <laughs> from Fairy Tale. Um, three different poutines. One which is riding a skateboard. Radical. And then two um, plush bison. We have two? Yeah. Why? One is sitting and one who's in normal bison for me. <laughs> like we go back and they're like we'd like to introduce you to the next the new member of the new soldier first class and it's just a bison standing on two legs <laughs> my god i mean that's literally a tauren so i guess it's from wow so i guess that's not that out far out of the idea of the... Well, i don't even remember what i picked up there oh i picked up a chocobo something i think chocobo armlet ap plus 20 percent nope now How dare you make my chocobos useless. <laughs> no! There is one item we do own that could be defined as a plush. We determined it was not. And it is a bullet bill in pillow form. Ah, uh, yes, the bullet pillow. <laughs> uh, let's see, so I have to get to 615. Scavenger hunt, oh boy. Something tells me that we're not going to have to hunt very hard. We're just going to have to find the creature that is, happens to be spawned in the field. And look, it's right there. Where oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, there's guys one like, one. not so fast. Oh, there's two of you. You're just spread out a lot. <laughs> I like this place. It's like, dumpy. <laughs> okay, there. <laughs> you want to live like, in the slums? We can do that. I <laughs> hey, I, mas I mastered my cure. Woo. Which I believe means I just pooped go. out a um, go, copy. Go, go. How did that, you know what? Well, I don't know how that attacked this guy all the way over here, but I'll take it. Thunder. So I'm really glad this type of game died out. <laughs> oh, no! We, um, if this continues, we might do a little grinding off screen at this point. Uh, this is our first, we're still in the first session of recording this. But the more I'm thinking about it, the more I might, like go through and do some grinding off screen because it's like like grinding in is any part of any rpg excuse me zach can you get out of it from there thank you <laughs> uh zach can you get out of there too um but um grinding is a part of any rpg but this is like a uniquely boring kind of grinding oh, no! <laughs> so we might do some stuff off screen just to just to make things run a little smoother it won't be i won't do plot we won't i won't do plot stuff but 
Um, because the plot is the only other reason to play this game. Because it sure as shit isn't for the music. Um, but, uh... Yeah, because think about what all, all of our missions thus far have been. It's been running through in circles, picking up treasure chests, beating the shit out of overpowered enemies. Please give me five. Okay, well... As much as everyone, I'm, as much as there are plenty of fanfic writers who imagine a Sephiroth cloud sandwich, oh my gosh. I don't think I'm gonna indulge that. Right, should probably heal before this. I feel like this bird can pick me to death. Right. It's a bird with a stupid, stupid nose. Oh, there's three of them. I love how bright they're. Oh no, I'm sorry. I can't let you guys do that. <laughs> can't let you do that, Star Fox. Oh shit, one of them almost escaped. Oh nah, nah, nah. uh, yes, Revali. <laughs> Just like in Teenage Mutant. Oh look, it's not Cisne. Oh, thanks, Cisne. You helped me kill those people. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, you didn't. <laughs> Obtained a jump. Zack now knows how to jump. He can bend his knees and leave the ground. Yes, he, he's learned the logical conclusion of an overdone squat. <laughs> what if you could levitate after a squat? Why do you think slob squats are a thing? They're trying to levitate, that's all. Oh um... I've... Let's go talk to someone and see what... Oh, yeah, we have to leave here. Like, we've just left Kunzel in the fucking, like, in the rain here. <laughs> we totally... Hey, Zach, didn't. where the fuck were you? It's been <laughs> ten hours. What do you say we go down to Sector 8? Not for a date, of course. I can go to it through the first floor entrance as well. As opposed to where else? Uh, <laughs> so I have no regrets. So you have no regrets. Hint, hint. There are certain points in the story where you won't be able to do missions anymore. They're, they're very I like I like how they're both using the same animations and skeleton. <laughs> well, here we are. That was fun. I'm, I'm going home now. <laughs> what a great time. Who's this guy in the background? <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping Zach would call him out on this and he did. He's leaving me here. Uh, I have an assignment waiting since when? I mean, besides all the other assignments I did, I'm currently a fucking war hero for Wu Tai against Wu Tai. Yeah. So you brought me out back here, you're like Ah, just have fun in the town, but here you can go right back anytime. <laughs> this is the punishment for leaving him out. Pretty much. I'll send you another mail when I find the time. You know those mails. They take a long time to compose. <laughs> oh, boy. So this is basically an excuse to, like, go out and, like, get some items and, guess what? Unlock other missions. Oh. Which I'm not going to do right now because I don't want to keep looking at the freaking... Oh, there's nothing back there. Good to know. I'm not going to... I don't want to keep freaking looking at, uh my uh, little guide here but there's a save point do i have an assignment out here i honestly have already forgotten <laughs> what the fuck even i'm oh, oh dear hello, hello oh there's some people. there's some people oh, two of them are almost identical pardon me but are you a soldier operative are you a fan of angeal by chance <laughs> it's not like soldier operatives all wear the same fucking awful sweater Never heard of you. You must be soldier second rate. <laughs> All right, Sephiroth. Sick burn. <laughs> fan. Sephiroth. We'll see X, if you get saved. XX underscore Sephiroth fan uh, underscore XX. <laughs> we were just talking about who the greatest soldier operative might be. Well, two of them are deserters and one's currently still in soldier, so that should narrow the playing field. <laughs> that air of solemnity. He's thrifty to boot. He's absolutely charming. Oh, God. Anyone greater than Sephiroth. Oh, he's going to be great forever. Mm. Just imagining him stripped to the waist. Oh, my gosh. Yep, that's right. We are currently interfacing with R34 folk. Why? Both Thank of you. you. Oh, it's, my It's got to be Gax. <laughs> Maybe Soldier's first class at so many female fans. Have you looked at your coworkers, Zach? <laughs> I know you're straight canonically, but come on. Well, allegedly straight. <laughs> You have eyes, Zach. No, he doesn't. Oh. Would I like to join the Keepers of Honor? Our recent newsletters that include bits of Angeal's official... I'd love to join. There you go. We Perfect. Just... Can I join all of them? 
Oh my gosh. Most popular figure in Soldier. Is the hero. <laughs> so many fan us. clubs. Is this what it was like to be like for the Jedi in Star Wars? <laughs> did I just, oh, did I accidentally just talk my way out of being in any of these fan clubs? Oh no. What makes Genesis fan club so special is that we're privileged as fuck and have a bunch of money. <laughs> we have a huge sponsor behind what? us. Oh God. I'd love to become a, ma a member of Red Leather. Oh, a replica oh of his rapier? I can't, I had to pay a not insignificant amount of money for a replica of Dante's Rebellion in real life. They're just giving away a rep, I'm so fucking tired of these people. So it looks like I don't get to be Sephiroth's fanboy. It's hilarious that I can become a fanboy for the two deserters. What have you got, child? Are you secretly shucking yourself? Yep. Mom's a full-fledged groupie. She won't do anything around the house. Come on, Mom. Grow up. Ha! Ah! It's ironic, you see. Because we now have two newsletters. Of course, Genesis' newsletter is 666. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> okay, so he loves reading. He has a copy of Loveless, which he will proceed to never shut the fuck up about. I guarantee it. Uh, he joined because of Sephiroth. Of course he did. And that was moved to the Genesis girls. Uh, let's his unauthorized profile. Oh boy, he's a dog Don't boy. Over dogs. Apparently, he's a gardener. Beautiful. We'll let you know when we have more to share with you when we're done stalking him. And there, there's a J, there's a flat JPEG of the Shinner building. Except we can only see so much because I can only move this camera light right and left. The technology to move camera up wasn't invented till well after this game came out in 2012. <laughs> See, surely nothing shady can go on in this back alley. No, no. And yet this place here still looks cleaner. Still this place still looks cleaner than New York. What's your deal? <laughs> Besides having a stupid haircut. I'm a soldier guy. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, I hate Shinno with all my heart. Don't talk to me like you know me. Jesus Christ! Whoa! Just wanted to have a fucking conversation with you, buddy. Hey man! You wanna That's try that again? You, you wanna try that again? Hey, Alright. I mean, not for nothing, I have a sword on my back and I can literally fry you with my fucking mind. <laughs> with a wave of my hand, you could be in bloody pieces on the ground. <laughs> so, not for nothing, what's your deal? Hello. This is the same lady as before. Palette swaps. Palette swaps, I burn. I'm not interested in a soldier guy. Oh, excuse me. I wouldn't say I was interested in you. And that's all she has to say. These people are dicks. <laughs> Him. Oh, because we are in Midgar. Well, let's go to. What's let's wrong go with to, Midgar? It's a big rotten pizza. <laughs> How could you say that about pizza? I'm not saying that about pizza. I'm saying about Midgar. <laughs> it's, it's mayor's. The mayor's name is literally Domino too. Oh my god! The most you're rotten kidding. of all pizzas. <laughs> god, I wish I was. Our new locomotive. It's the M Mark 93 too. Can't wait to see it. Wow, this Please. kid likes trains. What a fucking nerd. <laughs> Sure. Who would ever like Who, trains? What child would ever enjoy trains? So, I loved trains so much as a kid. I went to this, like, family event thing. And the only reason I wanted to go is because they had a Tomage, like, a Thomas the Tank Engine, like, stage play thing. A homo an homage to Thomas and Tomage. Yeah, and it was the weird... You need, <laughs> you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Um... But, so they had, like, this big stage play thing, and they had, like, big, like, like, mechanic, like, uh, like, replicas, kind of, of Thomas. It wasn't the one at the Roundhouse, which I will talk about at a later date. <laughs> um, and I loved it so much. I watched that shit, like, three times through. It was, like, ten minutes each. And then Mom was like, it's time to go. And I didn't want to go. I wanted <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> I screamed. I kicked. I cried. I ran away. I, my screaming was so loud that the portals to hell began to open. <laughs> Demons began pouring out, oh. slaughtering the poor fairgoers. Oh. One by one, the world was caked with their blood and gore. <laughs> the place was left a smoking, blood-filled ruin by the time me and mom got out. <laughs> so then we went home and I was put in the timeout chair for 30 minutes. <laughs> now, was that for screaming or was that for unleashing demons upon the land i plead the fifth <laughs> we're seeing more and more reporters sniffing around for a scoop on shinra 
I was chasing after one. Oh, well, you did your job real well. At least you didn't just shoot them. Yeah, you're doing a really good job of trying to catch them right now, walking aimlessly around a fountain. <laughs> Keep it up, bucko. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, maybe this is the one nice guy. Probably not. No, he's just boring as hell. I know where I am, dickwad. Waiting to you. This is oh, the I guy you to... run Hey, to. by the way, if you want to go to the slums for whatever reason. <laughs> it's not like those slums will become relevant later on. Hmm. That's hmm. alright. But I think I think that is enough. Now that I've told my demon summoning story, the uh, the order of slayers is right outside our door. So uh, <laughs> oh, if you never hear from me again, let my last words be known. <laughs> 